time you waste by doing absolutely nothing? Fool me? One day I hope you realize there's more to life than just sleeping and being comfortable. This is the way us koala bears have always been. Remember all our old friends back in Koala Walla Land? They like sleeping just as much as I do. Yeah, I remember them, Blinky. But you shouldn't try and copy them because you have possibility. Thank you for the compliment. I happen to think sleeping is one of the finest pastimes there is. What you making such a big deal for? It's simple. You could be a big, strong bear and do many great things for people all over the world if you just put your mind to making yourself better. Well, to be absolutely honest with you, I don't want to be great and I don't want to be any stronger either. I like it here. Why should I want to go all over the world when I can sleep what, Pinky? Mm, stop! Blinky, sometimes you make me so mad I just feel like screaming. Look, there's Sandy. Yeah, she looks pretty sad today. Hi, Sandy. What's wrong? Oh, nothing, Blinky. I'm okay. Don't worry about me. Hey, what's bothering her? It's me, Blinky. I hope she's okay. Oh, yeah. Now I got it. I bet Sandy probably wants us to leave because she doesn't like us anymore, so I think the best thing for us to do is to go back home. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, Sandy, you still like us, don't you? Uh, Sandy? Yes? What is it, Blinky? Well, it's just that I was wondering if you were trying to, um... Oh, come on, you were going to ask me about Mark, weren't you? Huh? Well, Mark and all his friends were making fun of me. That's terrible! Sandy, you might really be my age, but to me, you're still just a little kid. I bet when you go to school, you wear diapers. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Maybe Mark knows what he's talking about. Leave me alone. Hey, come on, Sandy, laugh a bit. The thing he said about the diapers is kind of funny. Pinky, you're even smaller than I am. Yeah, but that doesn't matter because my brain's so big. I don't understand why Mark would treat you like that, Sandy. I mean, what's his problem? As far as I can see, you've never done anything to him. There's more, Blinky. How about those creepy stuff koala bear Sandy takes with her every place she goes? Only babies do that, and I think she's the biggest baby of them all. Hey, Sandy, you might be right about that, kid. How dare you make fun of koalas like that? I think everybody should okay, be nice I to each other. I don't understand, Blinky, how you can be nice at a time like this. Doesn't it even bother you that Mark is putting down koala bears and also treating Sandy badly because she's friends with us? Gee, just who does this kid think he is anyway, huh? Hey, Blinky, if you were a brown bear, you'd do something about him to make sure he never laughs at any of us again. But what Mark did wasn't that terrible. I don't understand why you're so upset. And I don't see why you're so mad at him. He deserves it. Nobody could talk about us bears like that. You make me so mad sometimes, Blinky, because koala bears are all supposed to stick up for each other. You don't have to shoot. You know, maybe some sleep will help you to calm down. Sleep? You must be kidding me. I'm going to get Mark to stop teasing us. And I wonder where Blinky's off to. I'll show Pinky once and for all, but I won't let anybody treat us koala bears that way. I can just imagine how it's gonna be. He'll come riding along in that bike of his, and then I'll make a great big hole up here, and it'll be right in his way. the road, oh no! I can see it now. He'll fall into that big hole and land right on his stupid head. <laughs> What do you know? Here he comes now, heading right for the hole. Of course, he might really hurt himself. Well, he deserves it for teasing my friends. But if he gets hurt too badly, I'll never be able to forgive myself. I want to teach him a lesson, but this is going too far. Whoa! Oh no, what's that in the road? I can't stop! Ah! I can't do it! I gotta stop him! Ah! Oh, unbelievable! He's okay! <clears throat> there. You're lucky I changed my mind. Now I better make this hole disappear. Whoa! Hey, wait a minute! Uh, uh. Huh? I'm almost positive I was about to fall into a hole. I better get home. Uh, well, nobody's perfect. That was weird. Oh boy, I sure am glad I stopped him in time. <laughs> huh? You're so nice, the only person that got tricked was you. Pinky, will you leave me alone? Huh? You know, I never thought of tricking anybody until you started up on me. Ugh, I'm not mean and that's final. Wake up, Blinky. Oh, hi, Pinky. 
Katie, did you come to read me a bedtime story? Not quite. I went to the Koala Library and brought a very important book for you to read. How about it? Well, before I look at it, I want to know what kind of book it is. How to mesmerize without even trying. But my memory's good. I didn't say memorize, I said mesmerize, which is a kind of magic that will help improve your personality and make you a stronger bear. Huh? Pinky, will it make me fearless as well? Of course, no problem. You want to try it? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Great! You're very strong. You're a proud koala now. And you're a fearless leader. You're very strong. <laughs> oh, Pinky, that book is hopeless. Hey, be patient. If you want to be a strong bear, you have to put up with this type of magic, okay? I hope you're right about this. You're big and strong. You won't let anybody fool you. All the other animals think you're a fearless leader and you are. You're the best there is. How do you feel now, Blinky? Are you asleep? See you in the morning. Time to get ready for bed. Ooh, this nightgown always feels so snuggly. Come on, Blinky, let's say goodnight and go to sleep. There you go. Sweet dreams, see you in the morning, Good night. You're big and strong. You never let anybody fool you. Good morning, Blinky, rise and shine. Time to get up now. Come on, Lazy Bones, you heard me. It's time to wake up. There you go. Now you be a good boy, Blinky, and I'll be back soon. Bye-bye. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this place. Mm. Mm. I'm hungry. Hi, how about you and I having some fun? No. Yes. Oh, there's a cat. Watch this. Blinky, I didn't realize it was bothering you that much. I'll stop. No. Huh? That's not what I meant. You bother me. Huh? You're weird today. I don't like cats anymore. They're no fun. Who needs them anyhow? Blinky, maybe you should leave him alone. You stay out of this. You're being too nice, Pinky. But what are you going to do to him? Just watch. I'm going to make him fly away to prove I'm a very strong bear. No! Please, what have you done? Oh! <laughs> hey, Pinky, I bet that cat was surprised about what I did. But you might have hurt him. Oh, he'll be okay. Now it's time to pay Mark a visit. What are you going to do now? Get back at him? You bet. He made fun of our friend Sandy, remember? And he bad-mouthed us bears. Well, I'm the strongest koala bear in the world, and I'm not going to stand for this stuff anymore. Blinky, what are you talking about? <sighs> Blinky, you're the strongest koala bear. You're a big bear, Blinky, and fearless, too. Oh, boy, I think he's really been mesmerized and believes he's a tough bear. I better try and stop him before he hurts Mark and then gets himself in all types of trouble. Just wait till I find that kid. Mesmerizing wasn't supposed to make Blinky this mean. Hey, wait up! You know, I was just thinking that maybe Mark isn't such a bad boy after all, Blinky. Don't even bother trying to stop me, Pinky. I'm the strongest koala bear around, and I have an important job to do. Better be careful, Blinky. Oh, boy, is Mark going to be surprised when he meets you? <laughs> There comes Mark now, Pinky, and he has no idea what he's in for. I'll teach him not to make fun of koala bears ever again. First, we'll freeze him and his bicycle, too. Perfect! <laughs> How about it, Pinky? What do we do next? It might be fun to put him on top of that wall. Then he'd be real surprised. Good idea! You're pretty smart, small fry. <gasps> what? What's this, Shorty? Shorty! Now! I'll make him drive right off that wall. <laughs> Look, he doesn't even realize what happened yet. Hmm? What's going on? Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Blinky, how about taking off his front tire? I'm only fooling. You better let him down. Oh, but I want to play more. Watch. <laughs> 
I bet this won't be too much fun for him. His balance is pretty good. There. What are you doing? I'm taking his handlebars off. Hey, Blinky, you're going too far. Listen, when I'm mad, I'm the meanest bear around. You haven't seen anything yet. Watch what I do to him now. Uh, uh, I can't believe it. This has just got to be a bad dream. This has got to be the weirdest day I've ever had. Mark, you made fun of Sandy yesterday, didn't you? I can see you, Mark, huh? and I know what you've done. Hmm? Who's that? Don't worry about who it is, Mark. You've got other things to worry about now, like making sure you never put down koala bears again. I mean, never, ever again. From now on, mister, us koala bears won't stand for it anymore. You better watch your step or else. Huh? What are you? Where'd they go? Hi, Blinky. Hi, Pinky. I'm back. I got news for you. What is it? <laughs> Gee, you're in an awful bad mood. What's the matter? I got back at that boy, Mark, for making fun of us. Huh? Oh, no, you don't really mean that, do you? I do mean it. That kid Mark had it coming to him. I had to teach him a lesson, so I made him pay for the things he did. Huh? What do you mean you made him pay for it? How'd you do that? I made him fall when he was riding his bicycle. <gasps> Mark didn't get hurt, did he? I don't think there's too much to worry about, Sandy. All he did was fall off a ten-foot wall. Oh, no! Mark! She ran off without even thanking me, Pinky. Why should she care about Mark after the things he said about us? Blinky, even if I told you Sandy's reasons, I don't think you'd understand them right now. <gasps> Mark! What is it, Sandy? Mark! Are you all right? I'm all right, but look, it's broken. How'd the bicycle get messed up? Well, I can't really figure it out, Sandy. All I know is that first the wheel disappeared, then the handlebars disappeared. Can you imagine? I can't. I'll say. You must have had a pretty bad fall. Yeah, but luckily I'm okay. Now I'm just trying to figure out what I saw. It was weird. What do you mean by that? Oh boy, I know this is really weird for me to ask you, Sandy, but do your koala bears move? I mean, can they get up and move around? I don't know what you mean. I guess I must have been dreaming. Maybe I need some sleep. That'll help. But that still doesn't explain what happened to my bicycle. Bye. You take care of yourself, Mark. See you later. You know, Pinky, maybe I should have pushed Mark around even more than I did. Boy, oh boy, you've changed more than I thought, Blinky. Now I'll bet you anything that you're the toughest koala around. What do you mean that I've changed? You probably don't remember, but before I mesmerized you, you weren't tough at all. You were a real pushover. I'm a pushover, am I? Hmm? You know, I think you're making fun of me. Oh, I wasn't either. Calm down. You better watch yourself, Pinky. Well, if you're going to be that way, I'm leaving. Oh, is that so? Hey! Let go of me! Hmm. It's about time I demesmerized you. We'll see about that. Oh! Huh? Gee, I wonder. Nah. Sandy, could you help me, please? Pinky, who did this to you? Blinky and I had a little argument. But Pinky, why did Blinky do such a terrible thing? He's never done anything like this before. Oh, it was absolutely unbelievable, Sandy. <gasps> but what do you mean by unbelievable? I'll tell you later. First, we have to find Blinky before he finds Mark and something bad happens. Oh, no. Come on. He better hurry. Blinky was so mad when he left, he might do something real nasty. If he does, I'll never speak to him again. Pinky, I think you better tell me that unbelievable story of how Blinky went from being a kind koala bear to what he is now. It's simple, Sandy. The reason he's different than he was before is because I mesmerized him. Huh? Look out! Oh. Oh. oh, next time warn me before you stop like that. My nose feels like a kangaroo stepped on it. Oh, just stop complaining.
training. It's all your fault. I was just trying to teach Mark a lesson for being so rude. Boy, oh boy, that's gratitude for you. Why should I be grateful? You changed Blinky's personality so much I don't even know him anymore. I don't see what's so awful about that. I just gave Blinky some self-respect so he'd teach those bad boys a lesson. What you've done is made him mean and nasty. Are you happy now? Would it make you happier if those boys keep being rude to you? Oh, Pinky, were you really trying to make your brother into such a bully when you mesmerized him? Well, I might have gone too far. That's better. Now what? First, we'll have to go and find him, and then I'll get out my book and try to demesmerize him. We better get going before he causes more trouble, Pinky. But hold on to my arm and don't move. We wouldn't want people to see you flying around. <laughs> I wonder where Mark is. I know he's around here somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. There's his house! Ha ha ha! The big dog with a funny nose! Ha ha ha! Oh, Spot, come back here! Spot, do you hear me? Stop this instant! Spot! How am I going to stop the truck in time? Hey, get out of the way! is right at the end of the block. Look, I wonder what's going on. Hey! Oh, 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 oh. Wow, look at that. Look, there he is now. Hi, Mark. Huh? Hi, isn't this neat? Say, Mark, is everything okay? Sure is. Sandy, isn't that pig fight over there the funniest thing you ever saw in your life? Come on, you can do it. Be careful. Hey, that wow. poor man. That, that's enough. Get back, oh. you pig. I better come back later on. But when I do find Mark, he'll be sorry. Mark, I bet that's him. Where? Over there in that raincoat. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Sandy, I've been thinking that maybe you're not a big baby after all. Huh? Sandy, where'd you run off to? That doesn't look like Blinky. Are you absolutely sure? Yep, it's him, all right. Then we found him in time. Great. Blinky, wait. Hey, you talking to me? Come on, Blinky. You can take off that disguise and stop chasing after Mark. I've forgiven him. Well, you may have forgiven him, but I haven't, Sandy, and that's why I'm going to teach him a lesson he'll never forget, so he'll never make fun of us again. Blinky, what are you up to? I'm trying to find the right way to demesmerize you so I could get you back to normal. Hey, oh, let me no. that book. Blinky, be careful! How to mesmerize others! Now both of you look me right in the eye! Yeah, that's it! Listen carefully! You're both big and strong and won't let anybody make fun of you, no matter who! We won't, we won't be, be made, made fun, fun of by anybody, anybody no, no matter, matter who. who! Come on! Let's go! Now we're gonna go and find Mark! And you better believe he'll never make fun of us again! <laughs> All of you winters, get back in the truck! Get back here! Back in the truck! <laughs> Boy, that was fun! Hey, Mark! Huh? Hi, Sandy, where'd you go? It's time I tell you that. Oh! <gasps> Sandy, I'm sorry. Mom, you got her all wet. Sandy, are you all right? Actually, I feel just great. I'm so embarrassed. I was cleaning my shop out because those horrible animals made it filthy. Then you appeared out of nowhere. Sandy, please come in and dry off. Thanks, but I'm all right. All right, suit yourself. Oh, I got your stuffed animals, too. Oh, they'll be fine, ma'am, really. I am such a clod. <laughs> oh, Mom, you're not. You couldn't have known she was there. I'm terribly sorry about all this, dear. Although I'm amazed at the way the stuffed koalas held up. Bye now. See you at school tomorrow, Mark. Well, Mark. Thankfully, your friend Sandy acts very grown-up for a girl her age. Otherwise, she would have made a big deal about what I did. Aw, how about me? Don't I act grown-up? Well, sometimes you do, dear. Oh, those beautiful stuffed animals she has reminds me of the ones I had when I was a girl. Maybe someday I'll be given one as a present from a secret admirer. You mean you'd really like a stuffed...